Get your house in order. Hard times are on the way. Come along and see which preps we felt were most important for our household this week. Hey guys, it's Jara with Wicked Prepared. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another prepper pantry haul to share with you. Prepping or preparedness is not something that you do and finish and put away and be done with it. It's a lifestyle and it's something that you're always building, always working on, and always adding new things. It's a constantly revolving and evolving process, but it's important now more than ever because we are not living in the same world today that we were even five years ago. There are wolves at the door and they're closing in from every direction. We as a nation are in severe trouble financially as well and I sincerely believe that we're in for another Great Depression. Do you see the signs? Let me know down in the comments what things are you seeing that signal the trouble coming financially. For me, the one thing that has stuck out the most in the last year or so has been homelessness. Honestly, here where I live in a small rural town in Maine, not a hospitable environment for the unhoused, I never saw it. You just didn't see it. I'm not saying it didn't exist here, but you never saw it in the traditional sense. People on the streets, people in tents, living in their cars. And all of a sudden, I've been not only seeing it for the first time, but seeing it more and more to the point that we've even had a situation literally in our backyard. It's a sign of the times that we're living in and an omen of things to come. So get your houses in order, get your pantries stocked as much as you can to the best of your ability, get your medical supplies stocked up, have your grid down supplies and backup power ready. I believe the most common reason that people turn to their preps, especially their food storage, is to get them through personal crises, to carry them through times of job loss, um, reduction in income, illness, things like that cut down on their expenses so they don't lose their shirt, so they don't lose their home. So think about it, how would things be for you if suddenly you couldn't afford to buy any more groceries? Do you have what you need? If you couldn't afford to pay your power bill, do you have what you need? If medical help was unavailable or if the medicines you needed were not available, that's already happening. I have a family member who hasn't had his daily medication because it just hasn't been available. Luckily, it's not a life-saving medication, but what if it was? Do you have what you need? Hard times are coming. Maybe not for all of us, but for many of us. And don't ever say it won't be me. Famous last words of a fool. So let me show you what we've added to our preps and our prepper pantry this week. We've got everything from cheap little bargains to more expensive, higher level items that we're hoping are gonna pay off over time. So I'm gonna start right over here with this stuff, which is my Azure Standard haul for this month. It wasn't a huge haul this month from Azure. I know a lot of the time I have big 50 pound or 25 pound bags of wheat or other grains, things like that. But what I got this time is I got some prebiotics. I've been taking prebiotics for a while and I really think that it's it helps my digestion and things like that. And I ran out of the one I've been taking and they're all pretty expensive, so I thought I would try a couple different options just to see if I could find something a little less expensive. So this is one that I got to try from Azure Standard. Now prebiotics um, is different than probiotics, but they both work in your gut with your digestion and they both help with your immune system and everything like that. And the prebiotics, um, they stimulate the growth of the healthy bacteria in your gut that you really need and things like that. So this is one that I got to try. And when I looked up prebiotics on Azure Standard, I also got this inulin powder which I wasn't very familiar with, but it is a prebiotic. And it's also a low glycemic sweetener. And so I thought this was something that would be interesting to try. Um, it's got, it's 10 grams of fiber. And of course, everything at Azure Standard is natural and a lot of things are organic and they have very, very high quality standards. So I trust everything that I get from them. So these are two prebiotics. And what I usually do is I have some matcha mate tea that I'll make every day and I'll put in um, some of the prebiotics. I put in my collagen. Um, I've been putting in my lion's mane mushroom powder for my mental clarity, things like that. So, so this is just all really to help improve my health. You definitely want to be at your best possible health that you can be because that's going to help you out in any emergency situation that comes along. And I also like to make sure that I have plenty of this kind of stuff on hand in case we find ourselves in a situation when I can't get it, I don't have to stop the things that I'm doing for my health. Another thing that I got from Azure Standard is this um, big, this is one pound of raspberry leaves, dried raspberry leaves. Now this is for like feminine health. This helps with things like menstrual cramps and things like that. So I thought this would be good to have on hand in a household that's really heavy on the females. You, do, you make a tea out of this. Now we do have a lot of black raspberry plants on our property 
and I have found out that I do believe the black raspberry leaves um, can work just the same as the regular raspberry leaves so I'll probably be harvesting some of my own at some point but for right now this was just easiest this was I think like ten dollars for this huge one pound bag of raspberry leaves I mean it's big because raspberry leaves obviously aren't very heavy so a pound is really bulky so that's a lot I was really happy with this but it's definitely important to have um, natural remedies on hand and to be familiar with natural remedies in the event that other types of medicines and things aren't available. And then I got a couple of um, powders to try. I got a coconut milk powder and a coconut cream powder. I'm not really sure how they're different. I do know how th these two are different if you buy them canned, but the descriptions didn't sound a whole lot different on these two products, but I thought I'd try them both. I do have a coconut milk powder that I am happy with, but I just thought I would try a couple of different brands. I like to try different things and see what I like. I used my coconut milk powder in my shelf stable chia pudding little breakfast meals in a jar that I did. That was so good. It was so delicious and so creamy. So coconut milk powder is a great thing to have on hand if you do shelf stable dry meals like that. And next from Azure, I got this little tub of golden milk powder. This um, sounded really good and I think I'm going to add this to my little concoction with my collagen and my prebiotics and all of those things. This has turmeric and black pepper and it has um, coconut water, probiotics, all sorts of things. This is something that's really good for inflammation and healing and all kinds of things like that. It got really good reviews so I thought I would give this a try. And then the last thing I got from Azure Standard was this 10 pound box of organic lemons. I was pretty excited about this. They were on sale. Um, they're not on sale any longer, but the good thing about Azure Standard is that if you add something to your cart while it's on sale, as long as you don't take it out of the cart before um, your order processes, you get to keep the sale price. So this was actually a lot cheaper than the organic lemons in my area, and it was actually almost as cheap as the non-organic lemons. I use a ton of lemons in the summer. I can lemonade concentrates and things like that. What I think I'm going to do with these, and this is very important to have them organic, I saw someone in a freeze drying group who blended up the whole lemons, including the skin, including the seeds, including every single bit of them, and then freeze dried them and made them into a powder and said it was really, really good and it made a great um, lemonade. So I think I'm going to try that and where you use the peels and everything, I definitely want them to be organic. I will have a link down in the description box where you can check out Azure Standard if you've never um, shopped there before. They're a really wonderful company. They have really great prices. I constantly find myself turning to them for all sorts of things and I find that the quality is great and the prices are great. So go ahead and check them out. So the next bunch of stuff that I've got here is from Amazon. A lot of this was from my subscribe and save but not everything. I did get another one of these six gun chili seasonings. This is a fairly inexpensive little item. You have to have five items in each delivery on your subscribe and save to get the maximum savings. There's usually two levels of savings and so if I don't have five items and I need things right away to where I don't want to put them off to my next delivery because I get a delivery pretty much once a week. If I don't want to put things off, sometimes I'll add little cheap things like this um, into my delivery just to get those five items, things that I do use. This is a pretty good chili seasoning. And this marinade is another thing. It's very inexpensive, just a couple of dollars for this bottle. This is one that I do use and I can't find it locally to me. So I get it from Amazon on my subscribe and save. Now this is something dewormer for goats. We do not currently have goats, but you know we just got our new puppy Apollo and he came from pretty rough beginnings. He came from a backyard um, puppy mill down south and he came with all sorts of ailments and he had to have dewormers and and of course we took him to the vets and they prescribed him these dewormers but as I was doing my research because we have multiple dogs and I wanted to kind of deworm them all just to make sure that nothing spread around and I found that it's the same medication this fenbendazole and this happens a lot if you can um if you know the dosages, you can use some of the same medications for different animals. Now, I am not a doctor or a veterinarian. I am definitely not recommending this to anyone. You would honestly have to do your own research and decide if it's something that you were comfortable with. I did a lot of research and found that this fenbendazole, as long as you can get the dosage right, um, is the same for many, many different animals and for humans. It works um, in a lot of different species and it works against a lot of things and this is good for Giardia and things like that. So this is one bottle and then this in here is actually two bottles of the same stuff. This was cheaper, but I could get this faster. I had to wait to get this on my subscribe and save, but I wanted to be able to get started right away. So 
I ordered this and then this one showed up shortly thereafter. But there's actually quite a few instances where you can do this, but it does require some knowledge and some research and that's something that you have to do on your own. Or sometimes your vet will help you out with that if they are sympathetic to the fact that you have multiple animals or a limited budget, something like that. Now this is a seasoning, this little lads, this is actually a Maine company. It's right here in Maine and we love, um, this company makes herbal popcorn and it has the seasoning on it and we love it so much. And so I found the se that the seasoning is sold separately. This was pretty expensive, but honestly the popcorn is pretty expensive too and this will make a lot of um, the popcorn homemade. So I was pretty um, excited to find this. And then this right here is some rye flour. This is Bob's Red Mill. Um, this is a good brand. Rye flour can be basically the best flour to use for like a sourdough starter. So that's why I grabbed a small bag of this. Next from Amazon, this is a little set that is a mason jar vacuum sealer, but it's just a little handheld one. Now somebody recommended this in one of my canning groups or one of my groups. Now I have several different ways to vacuum seal mason jars. I have my food saver and I have the attachments for that. We just got our Avid Armor chamber sealer and then we did also get the attachments for that to vacuum seal mason jars. But this um, is just a little, little thing that can be used on its own. And I thought that would be handy instead of having to haul out a whole big machine, just to have a small device that can be kept in a kitchen drawer easily and just pulled out to use by itself. And this one came highly recommended. I have not tried it yet, but that was why I grabbed this. And then this container here is a very big container. It's five pounds. I think it's over five pounds. It's almost six pounds of Zatarain's fish fry um, seafood breading mix. Now this was called for in a recipe that I wanted to try and I could not find it locally to me anywhere. So uh, of course I turned to Amazon. That's what I usually do and it got really good reviews and I know that I could use this for many other things besides just fish. I can bread chicken with this. I can do all sorts of things with it. So I did grab this large container. This will last us quite a long time, but it was the best deal by unit price. And then underneath that, down in this box, I have not opened this up yet because we haven't finished um, the case that we already have, but this is what it is. I took this one out of our food storage so I could show you. It's a case of these Near East um, Mediterranean curry flavored couscous mixes. I love these. Um, my family really likes this flavor. And what's really great about these, especially for prepping purposes, is that they don't even really require cooking. If you look at it, all you have to do is boil the water and then stir it in and just cover it and let it set. So just boiling water is all this needs. When I was younger, we used to take these on um, overnight backpacking trips. And I remember my dad cooking these over the little backpacking stove in the parking lot when we got down off the mountain and things like that. So I have really fond memories with these and they are a really great item to have for prepping. You could add some canned meat to this if you wanted to make it a little bit heartier. If you were taking this hiking or something, you could use some freeze dried meat um, to keep it very light. If curry's not your thing, I do believe they probably have other flavors of the couscous and they have plain couscous that you could season however you wanted. You could just use some chicken bouillon when you cooked it up, but it's really, really great because it doesn't require um, any cooking period, just boiling water. And really everyone should be able to boil water, even in a power outage, everyone should have the basic capability, whether it's a backpacking stove or I have the cheapest, cheapest butane stove there is. You can get it for 20 to $25. Even today, the fuel is not expensive. Really everyone should have at least something like that. And next I have my Thrive Life haul for this month. Um, a lot of this stuff is stuff that's on sale right now for the month of May. You can see I got two different cases of pantry size cans this month. They were on sale and they're some of our favorite items, so I bought them by the case. You typically see me buy mostly these family cans, which are the gallon size cans, but this month I got more of the pantry size cans. This tomato sauce, this is one of their sauce mixes, and I love all their sauce mixes, but I really especially love the tomato sauce because it's very unique. I never see anything like this. This is not just tomato sauce, but it's actually like a spaghetti sauce powder, so it's all seasoned. It's a complete sauce. Now, I've never seen anything like this in the store. If you see a spaghetti sauce, like mix packet, it's just the seasonings and you would add it to tomato paste or tomato sauce and things like that. This is complete. It has all the tomato in it, has all the seasonings in it, everything. Now, if you want plain tomato sauce, you would just use tomato powder, um, which is a little bit different. It's just tomatoes. That's all it is. It's actually a great product to have in your prepper pantry. It's very versatile. It's very useful. You can mix it with varying amounts of water to make either tomato paste, tomato sauce, or tomato juice, so it replaces all of those products. But this is tomato sauce powder. 
Now I had done the figuring and it's been quite a while, but I had it in my head that one of these cans replaced five cans of um, spaghetti sauce. But I looked again and this has 51 servings per container. So there's 51 servings if you mix it up. Now I have this little container of sauce is just the one I had open in the fridge right now. And this is a typical size um, jar of sauce. Actually, it might be a little bit bigger than some that I buy, but this has six servings in it. And so I did the math and six servings versus 51 servings. That means that this little can contains about the equivalent of eight and a half of the jars of spaghetti sauce. So I really think that's pretty awesome. That's a great space saver. These have a very long shelf life of 25 years before they're opened and it's in a can and not a glass jar. It's just a little bit um, easier for storage. So I really love to have these on hand. I use these in my meals in a jar a lot because that's where you need a dry powdered version of all your ingredients. I will have one coming up this month using this sauce mix. Now another thing that I bought a case of in the pantry cans and this even surprised me. It's these chicken slices. Now this is our favorite chicken. They have several different forms of chicken and this is our favorite. So seeing it was on sale, I was gonna go and buy um, probably a couple of the big family cans. And when I went to add them into my cart, thankfully I was paying attention and I noticed because I looked at the prices and I thought something doesn't seem right. Cause generally it's always a better deal to buy the bigger cans. Just like anything else, buying in bulk, you usually get a quite a better deal. But looking at the prices on these, it wasn't adding up. So I looked at the price per serving because Thrive Life now does show you the price per serving on all of their items. And I noticed that the price per serving was much lower on these pantry cans than it was on the family cans for some reason. And so I did my own math. I did the price per ounce because that's how I usually like to figure it. And it was much, much cheaper to buy it in the pantry cans. I don't know why that is. We were talking about whether it was just like an overstock and they needed to get rid of it, but it's actually on the price sheet, which is something that they don't change very often. So I think if it was an overstock, they would have just put it on sale or put some on clearance. I don't think they would have, um, you know, had the price be that on the price sheet. So I'm not sure why, but if you buy any of the Thrive Life chicken slices that are on sale this month, definitely go for the pantry cans. I mean, it is convenient to have a smaller can open. You don't have to worry about how long it's gonna take you to use up, although these cans do have a shelf life of one year after they're open, so I never have a problem using up the big can within a year. But I did get the case of 10 of these pantry cans instead of getting the larger cans just because of the massive price difference. So def definitely take note of this if you are a Thrive Life customer, if you're somebody who buys Thrive Life, definitely um, go with the pantry cans on the chicken slices. The last thing I got in the pantry can was the lemonade mix. Now. This is basically an unsweetened lemonade mix. It's really just the lemon powder. There's a tiny bit of sugar in it, but that's really just for the drying process or the powdering process. I'm not really sure. I don't remember the science of how it works, but it's basically unsweetened. So you sweeten this however you want and you would just add your sugar, your honey, your artificial sweetener, whatever you want. And this little can actually makes 224 one cup servings because it's very concentrated. And I actually use this more often in recipes than I do as a beverage. I use this in my meals in a jar if I need a little lemon flavor, like I have my um, lemon chicken pasta with spring vegetables. I use it in desserts and things like that if I want a lemon flavor in cookies or breads or cakes. So that is what I typically use this for. And of course I am gonna be making some of my own lemon powder in my freeze dryer, but I'm not really sure yet how that's gonna turn out. And this is seasonal and it sells out very quickly. Last year I didn't even get any because it sold out so quickly. Thankfully, I still had a can that I hadn't used yet, so it was okay, but I wanted to make sure that I got one this year. And I'm weird about recipes. If I use a certain brand of ingredient in a recipe, I tend to not want to change the brand or type of ingredient just because I'm afraid it'll change the outcome of the dish. I'm just weird like that. And then the one family can that I got this time is these um, potato dices. These are freeze dried potato dices. These were on sale. I do use these quite a bit in my meals in a jar and things like that. And I have not had a chance yet to freeze dry any um, myself in the freeze dryer. And so for me, these are not a very expensive vegetable compared to some. So it was just worth it for me to buy a can of these already done. And I will have a link for Thrive Life down in the description box as well. So you can check them out. I'll have a link to the May sale section so you can check out what's on sale. 
um, just check out everything that they have. This is another really great company. They have really high quality standards. There are no GMOs in anything. They're very, very good at what they do. And most of their foods have a 25 year shelf life. So it's really, really a fantastic thing to add to your pantry. So next I have got some things from Walmart and I think that's gonna do it today. Um, I've got some canned meats first. I've got some of these canned baby clams. I buy these quite a lot. That's because we use those a lot. So we're constantly replacing those. I use these um, pretty heavily. I also got a can of pull the pulled pork and two cans of the roast beef. I also like to have those on hand and I'm always trying to build my supply of those. We don't use them as often, so I don't um, purchase them as often. But And of course, canned meats, especially ones like these, can be pretty expensive, so I do try to spread it out, just a few here and there. And then I got two cases of this lime chili with shrimp flavor ramen cups. Now these are my favorite, and honestly, when I was sick, you remember I was sick last month and all I wanted was comfort food and I ate so much of this lime chili shrimp ramen. I have this with some of my truffle hot sauce in it and I just love it and I, it just comforts me and I think part of it is that I just let myself eat things when I'm sick that I don't typically let myself eat because it makes me feel better. And so I ate so much of this. So I basically had to replace my stock because it's not something that I typically eat but when I want it, I want to have it. And honestly, I know that ramen is complete junk nutrition, but it is super easy to make. It is super comforting. I think it's a really great thing to have on hand in your prepper pantry. It's very, very inexpensive. It doesn't have the longest shelf life because it does have oils in it that can go rancid. I can um, testify to that by personal experience. Like I said, I don't usually let myself eat this. So once I kind of stopped eating things like this, I had some that sat in the pantry a while and it did get kind of rancid and that's where my habit with the truffle hot sauce came from because I sure as heck wasn't going to throw something away um, if I could eat it because I don't like wasting things so I added some truffle hot sauce to those and you know masked the the rancid flavor and it was fine rancid is not going to really hurt you it's just unpleasant but make sure you rotate through your ramen but honestly these are really great to have if you are in an emergency situation it can be a blessing to have something that you can just boil water and like I said everyone should have the ability you can get a very inexpensive burner that you can use to boil water and have something that is comforting and is just going to fill people's bellies. Most people like these little noodle cups, kids, picky kids, everyone. Maybe not everyone likes the lime chili shrimp flavor but there's cheddar cheese, there's um, you know chicken flavor, there's all sorts of flavors. I really think this is a great thing to have on hand. And then I did add um, just a couple more cans of veggies. This is just something different. I saw these on some cooking video that I was watching and I'd never heard of this before really or I just never paid attention to it and then I saw that my Walmart did have it. It was kind of spendy compared to the plain you know store brand canned veggies that I typically buy but I thought it would be nice to have something a little bit different for certain dishes and so I thought I got a couple to try. And next I got some of this Jiffy pie crust mix. I've never really taken a look at that before, but I was looking at the Jiffy muffin mixes and I saw this and I looked at it and I saw that it is just add water. And you know that I am a fan of just add water items um, for your prepper pantry where you don't need any other additional ingredients. This could make a really good addition to like a meal in a bag that was a chicken pot pie or something like that. Lots of um, places that I could use these, so I grabbed a few to try. Now I will say they do add preservatives to this obviously to make it more shelf stable. I know that I could make my own just add water pie crust mix just by cutting the shortening or lard or whatever I used into the flour with the salt and just putting it up in a jar. I don't know how long it would last. I think it would last quite a while. I've had pretty good luck with shortening and lard lasting for quite a while so I'll probably try making some of my own just add water pie crust mix but I thought I would start with this and then of course just a few more boxes of the Kraft macaroni and cheese you know what I do here they often have Ibotta rebates for this and I showed you in one of my previous hauls recently how I can use the rebates and the bonuses and things like that to actually make these quite often cheaper than the store brand so I just grab usually one box at a time when there is a good rebate and a good deal just to um just to bulk up our supply a little bit. We buy lots of different kinds of macaroni and cheese. We're not picky. The kids love macaroni and cheese. It's another good thing to have in your prepper pantry. Of course, you need milk and butter for it. We do have, you know, powdered milk, powdered butter, and you can also add different things to this, like mayonnaise is a thing that you can add to this in place of the milk and butter, and it actually makes it really good, and that's something that's a little bit more shelf-stable that you can have, especially if you buy the really small Dollar Tree mayonnaise containers or mayonnaise packets. 
And next I got four bottles of sweet and sour sauce. I got two of the Lechoy and two of the Kikaman. I know I've gotten those before and I've told you I prefer one bottle of each brand mixed together. I don't really love either brand on its own. But mixed together, I like that a lot. I do have recipes where I make my own sweet and sour sauce from scratch, but sometimes you just want a quick and easy meal. I usually throw these in the crock pot with meatballs, peppers and onions, and pineapple. But in an emergency situation, you could do this with any kind of meat and any kind of vegetables you had, whether it be canned or freeze dried or whatever you have. And then back here, I got a couple more boxes of the sweet and salty granola bars. I am constantly buying these. I'm trying to maintain a full row in our food storage room and we just go through them so I just have to keep buying them but they're a good snack um, they're pretty filling everybody seems to like them they've got a lot of nuts in them I feel like that makes them a little bit healthier and then I grabbed this box of uh, Swiss Miss it says cinnamon toast crunch it's basically it was with the hot cocoa mixes and I'm not sure but I think it's like a cinnamon flavored not like chocolate with cinnamon I think it's just cinnamon flavored and I thought that might be something that the kids would really like. We're kind of obsessed with hot chocolates here, or at least I am. I have a lot of different flavors of hot chocolate. I like making cocoa bombs when I have, you know, time for hobbies, which isn't very often, but, but I thought we would give this a try and see how it is. We definitely like having lots of hot drink mixes on hand in our emergency supplies. Like I said, with some of the other things, just the ability to boil some water and you can have something comforting and something that's going to fill your belly a little bit more than just plain water. In here I have just another bottle of raw unfiltered local honey. That's a little bit more expensive than just the plain honey. Now if I'm going to be using it for cooking, I buy the plain cheap honey in the large jug. But I got this one for this, which is some honey fermented garlic that um, I've got going on and I thought I would start um, another jar of this. So I did get some more honey. I cannot wait until we have our own honey from our own bees. Which reminds me, there's one other thing that we've added to our preps that I wanna show you real quick. It's not in the house because it wouldn't fit on the counter, but let's go see what it is. Well, here it is, guys. This is something that we've recently added to our, I'm gonna call this prepping supplies for sure. This is our new beehive and we got a flow hive. What's really awesome about the flow hive is that it has a special system to make harvesting the honey a lot easier. You literally just, um, basically turn a spigot and it flows right out. It also has a window where you can see in um, and see what the bees are doing. Now we're actually going to be getting our bees. There's no bees in this yet and we're going to be getting those really soon. In fact by the time you see this video we should have the bees. So we are super excited about this. Now having the flow hive it makes the harvesting the honey easier but it doesn't really make the beekeeping any easier. You still have a lot of things that you have to do um, to check on your bees and make sure that they're healthy, keep them healthy. Um, but it does make the harvesting honey easier. Now Mr. Wicked Prepared put this together. Um, it was quite the project. Honestly, this came in a lot of just flat pieces and it was quite a lot of work, but he did a great job and now it looks really wonderful. Now, we were so excited to get a flow hive. I just thought that was the coolest concept ever. But I have heard about um, the health benefits of eating honeycomb. And so I said to Mr. Wicked Prepared that I was just a little bit sad that we wouldn't have honeycomb. Because this has like a plastic honeycomb replacement sort of, I guess you'd call it. That's what makes um, it it's so easy to harvest the honey and flow right out. But so when we went to look at the website to order, we saw that they had a hybrid flow hive. It has half of the hive with the special flow frames that dispense the honey so easily. And then it has half the hive with regular frames where you're gonna have real honeycomb. And so I am super, super excited about this project. We're a little bit nervous about it as well. We're just hoping um, that this is gonna work out for us. You know, there's a big learning curve to having bees and there's a lot um, that goes into it. But I was definitely really excited to get bees, to get a beehive, because I feel like it's very important for our self-sufficiency. We try to be really self-sufficient so that we can have the things that we need if we can't get them from the store. And honey is one of those things. So we will definitely keep you up to date on how things go with our new Flow Hive. And we'll have a link to Flow Hive down in the description box in case you want to check them out for yourself. And I am literally getting eaten alive by bugs out here. This is definitely the beginning of black fly season and mosquito season in Maine because I have not had this issue until today.
Then I got a couple of clearance items. These are just some of these Nerds drink mixes. I believe there was also an Ibotta rebate on these as well. But they were marked down to 90 cents, which isn't that much cheaper than regular, but we do use these. Um, most of my family actually prefers to drink water plain most of the time, but you know what we use these for is we use them for mixed drinks. It's kind of what I call ghetto cocktails. Um, but so we do go through these and then we will have them on hand in case of an emergency if we were drinking water that had been stored and had a funny taste or water that had been chemically treated and had a little bit of a funny taste. Sometimes it can be important to have something to put in your water. This is just another clearance find, a box of lo mein noodles. My kids love lo mein. I like to make things like this and this is something that you could um, make in an emergency. Different kinds of pasta are really good. You can usually have sauces shelf stable you can definitely have um, you know soy sauce um, sesame oil uh, oyster sauce things like that are good on lo mein noodles and I have those all in my pantry and then over here we just got a few like random medical and personal care kind of items some of these were clearance this is Capstar which is a flea treatment for dogs they have it for cats as well I believe but this is just a pill that they take and it instantly like within an hour I think kills basically every flea on their body so it's a good jump start it doesn't kill eggs and things like that but it's a good jump start if you have an animal that gets infested or you get a new animal in there infested um, this is a good thing to have on hand so I always have um, things like this on hand and this was a good price for this on clearance grabbed a tube of this on clearance um, this is still pretty expensive but this stuff is expensive but it works really well what you use this for is to scrub yourself if you think you've been in contact with poison ivy or something like that and it will remove the oil so that you won't come down with the rash you have to catch it before you break out in the rash but we have got poison ivy all over our property all around on um, the area the places that we walk in the woods places that we take the dogs there's a lot of poison ivy around here so we definitely and a couple of my kids are super sensitive to it so we always make sure that we have things like this on hand so anytime i see a deal i grab extra because we like to have extra and we've had several instances where we had to take the kids to the doctor for their poison ivy and they ended up with steroids and things like that so you have to think about situations where that might not be an option and have as much um, as you can have on hand to treat things like that. And then I got a bunch of these Suave deodorants. Now Suave is the cheap stuff, but honestly, I think it works just fine. We use it. I don't personally buy things, you know, that I wouldn't use just because they're cheap just to have on hand just in case of an emergency. We definitely only buy things that we use so that we can keep things in rotation. But I think this deodorant is fine. I use it. Got a bunch of different ones just so that I could bulk up our... Um, just so I could bulk up our stockpile. We definitely like to have a good stockpile, you know, at least six months worth of all these personal care items that would be really nice to have um, in a grid down emergency when maybe you're not getting as much um, hygiene as you typically would. There was an Ibotta rebate for 50 cents off of the single 2.6 ounce and it made this the cheapest um, option, but my store didn't have all the cents in this, um, in this particular option and I wanted some different ones so I got some some two packs and some smaller um, tubes but I just realized I really need to stop shopping without my reading glasses because this this was a surprise when I got it um from the store it was a pickup order and this was not what I thought I bought I thought I bought this one I mean they both kind of look the same they're both kind of yellow and I guess I didn't have my reading glasses on so but whatever I'm sure this is going to smell fine and we will use it and I I learned a lesson and then a couple of the two packs in the different sets and then a pack of razors um, there's usually always always a good rebate on some sort of razor in the Ibotta app and so I'm always buying this was I think three dollars off I got at least one of these for free with the Ibotta app and then it went to a, a three dollar rebate I believe I have talked about why it's important why it can be important to have razors on hand um, for emergencies several different reasons it can just be for basic hygiene and just to feel good you know in a bad situation but it can also be um for something like fitting a gas mask or something that's more serious like that and then there's a few uh, medical items now of course you know i was sick recently so i did have to restock a lot of these kinds of things um this one was this was extremely inexpensive this um i want to say this was less than a dollar maybe for this um bottle of 15 caplets i did get this store brand this is basically the store brand of mucinex which a lot of cold and flu medications are really just symptom relievers they really don't do a whole lot for you 
and sometimes they're actually not that great like cough suppressants for example a cough has a purpose of ridding your lungs of things that shouldn't be in them so sometimes it's not that great to take something like that but this mucus relief like the mucinex this actually does serve a purpose and it's a good thing to have i did get two of these but if you see this is maximum strength and it is 1200 milligrams of the active ingredient so this cheaper one is only 400 milligrams it doesn't say maximum strength um, and this is extended relief so this is 12 hour do dosing this one you actually take every every four hours so you do have to pay attention to stuff like that especially when you're buying really cheap bargain brands but by law the drug is supposed to be um, the same you know what it says whether it's generic or not so I do usually try out the cheaper brands and then I did get a few packs of these zinc lozenges we use these a lot these are great for immunity if you feel something coming on like as soon as you start to feel um, cold or flu symptoms coming on I, I usually put these under my tongue but they're a really great thing to use so we like to make sure that we have plenty of these on hand and then the final thing that I got here is two of these two packs of cotton swabs so they're each a thousand we go through cotton swabs I mean I don't feel like we use a ton every day but over time we go through a lot and this is not something I would ever want to be without if I can't clean my ears out after my shower, I just don't feel right. So I always try to make sure that we have a good stockpile of things like this. Okay guys, so that's everything that we had in our haul this week. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up to let us know. We do really appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber already, make sure you click that one as well. We've got lots of good stuff coming up. One thing I've got coming up soon is going to be some depression era recipes made into shelf stable meals in a bag. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me a bee emoji down in the comments. I'm Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.